A pet on the loose in Wisconsin turns heads as it hops from yard to yard. Another more traditional pet resists a rescue that quite possibly saved the animal's life. Our first hot shot, though, is so dramatic it almost looks like it's not real life. Take a look at this. Our first stop is Bel Air, California. No fresh prints in this clip. Check out the 405 freeway in the Sepulveda Pass. Wow. That's near the UCLA campus, just a bit northwest of downtown Los Angeles. Fire broke out overnight. This is around 12.15 this morning. One woman who was nearby shot this video. Everything is glowing from the flames. It almost looks like, like a, a, a different planet surface, sure. like the surface of the sun, or, which um, is not a planet. Like a video game. Yes. Right? Or what's the uh, episode three of Star Wars? The... Uh, you know I don't know this. Come on, <laughs> You know Brittany. I don't do the Star War. Come on, Revenge of the Sith, right? Uh, Chewbacca. The end there? Oh, no, did you just, just spit out the word Chewbacca? <laughs> did you see the look that Johnny, our floor director, just gave you? I so much shade just <laughs> thrown my way. Well, it's really, it's hot and dry there, but winds are only nine miles an hour, so the firefighters say that actually helped keep things from getting worse, because we've all seen these stories where a wildfire starts, and then the wind kicks up in California, and it just gets out of yes. control. Crews on the ground and in the air worked all night. By the morning, the flames are about 25% contained, and they're even further contained now. No one was evacuated. The fire really didn't threaten any buildings. This area is no stranger to fires. In 2017, a blaze known as the Skirball Fire scorched 420 acres and destroyed half a dozen buildings. Wow. And last October, a fire burned 740 acres and forced thousands of evacuations. There's been a series of brush fires in that area over the last couple of days because of the weather. It's not clear what started this one. It almost looks like a scene from the 2012 movie where, like, California's in oh, flames like are going underwater. Oh, the world? Yes. Well, that was a jump from <laughs> Star Wars to... From Star Wars to... Yeah, California's falling into the ocean. Oh, terrifying. Dramatic video there. Now let's go down under for this story, although we're actually down under Milwaukee in Franklin, Wisconsin. That's just south of the city. Police got some strange calls the other day about a kangaroo. Yes, you heard me correctly, a kangaroo hopping around the neighborhood. Turns out those people didn't know what they were talking about. It wasn't a kangaroo. No. It was a wallaby. <laughs> but the wallaby escapee didn't leave a zoo either. He actually lives in the area. His name is Hoppy. Mark Combs is Hoppy's owner. Mark was working in the backyard. He left to get some, to su get some supplies. He forgot to latch the gate, and Hoppy jumped at the opportunity. The callers told emergency dispatchers they thought a kangaroo was roaming the streets. This is my favorite part, just with a couple of dogs. Just had some <laughs> friends. Found some friends, and they're just hopping around. Just cruising the streets. But wallabies actually do look like kangaroos. They're just a little bit smaller. Police ended up tracking Hoppy down. He's only about 200 yards from Mark's home. Mark's neighbor called him. Mark told him, don't scare Hoppy, just pick him up and he'll come right to you. Well, easier said than done. That's not exactly how it went down, but officers and Mark's neighbor helped wrangle the exotic pet and now Hoppy's back home. So cute. Look at the little face. I know. So funny though and that he had dog friends. Who knew that you, there are no laws in Wisconsin that say that you cannot own a wallaby? That was actually going to be my next one. How do you get, how, do you, how does one obtain a, a wallaby? I don't know. Maybe you okay vote for them. Coming up in November. Here. A cat in London really tries its hardest to use up one of its nine lives. Someone spotted this cat stranded on the River Thames last weekend. It's a little, little dry patch. Members of the Royal National Lifeboat Institution showed up. One brave team member approaches the black cat with a blanket. It takes a couple of tries. First, the cat tries to scale the concrete wall. That didn't work. The guy wraps the guy in the blanket. Watch what happens. The cat squirms away, Wiggly. and then it ends up climbing on the guy. So that we switch to another camera to see exactly what happens. Then, who says cats hate water? This one preferred a dip than getting caught. Luckily, the rescuer didn't give up because the cat clearly starts running out of steam trying to paddle to safety. There's no shore there, really. The man eventually wrapped the cat in the blanket again, hopped on a boat, headed for shore, and then once on dry land, the cat bolted. Although, out of the frying pan into the fire, if you see at the end there, a dog chased it almost immediately. When the cat was on his back, that one like song, the burp, 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 was playing in my head as he like rustled Wait, with what, it. Wait, what song again? The burp, 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 burp. I don't know what it comes after it, but that's all I could think of because it looks like a little comedy <laughs> skit. <laughs> it's so funny. I would ask you to sing again, but we're running out of time. Those are your hot shots tonight. Hope you enjoyed them.